Stephen. Like, I know for me, like, if I think about like confidence for me, like, I'm still struggling with it. You know, I'll be completely honest because mm-hmm. I, I try to be very open and honest. Like, confidence is still, like, I wasn't born with it. You know, a lot of my life yeah. situations, my, um, you know, I'll just, exp- you know, I'll air my dirty laundry for everybody. Yeah, yeah, to I know. To, I you know? Hey, come on, yeah. Let's go. Um, yeah, let's go. You know, confidence is something that I've struggled with personally. And so, something, it's something that I've had to learn. You know, it's something that I've had to, sort of reinforce myself you know i oftentimes right. i would be in a situation where i'm like i know what i'm talking about but like i'm just like afraid that if i say one wrong thing people are going to be like oh my god you're stupid blah 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 mm-hmm. and and a lot of my career experiences uh you know working at tesla working at phillips before that um you know so being married and my, my my wife helping me through that you know friends and family and stuff it was a learned thing for me you know and i'm still learning so like watching somebody like you is very inspiring to be completely honest and because because i can see i can see that confidence and i can see just how you you just you want to tell the truth of how you feel and and you're very mm-hmm. passionate about it and and it's mm-hmm. almost like truth or nothing right i, I feel like that's the yeah. kind of person you that seem to be it up, yeah it's Yep. truth or nothing and like what i'm really curious to hear like you you've obviously grown a tremendous audience around that sort of mentality truth or nothing right this is how i feel i'm going to tell you straight up fuck your feelings here it is right like yep. how does that feel how does that feel to have people that want to watch you every day you know you've had 200 and i think like thirty thousand subs or some something is still growing like you think about that how does that make you feel a certain a certain way like t- talk me through well, that like is that yeah I do. I mean, from day one on the YouTube channel, I, I always wanted to be my full and genuine self. And there's things that, you know, a lot of people just sort of choose not to reveal about their personality or their lifestyle. And like, that's totally fine. I get it. But for me, I just am all about being radically transparent, like take it or leave it. And I was never concerned. I didn't need to make money on YouTube or this. And I don't care about subscriber growth or offending people. Um, and so I just tell it like it is. And I think generally speaking, most people, even if they know, think that I'm a prick, that I'm arrogant, that I'm noxious, that I'm a dickhead, that I swear too much, blah, blah, blah. They generally speaking will still respect me because they know that I am what they're getting. There's no sort of conforming to what they think that they should sort of get on YouTube, these kind of things. And I think that that makes a lot of my audience a little stickier. Like they really Mm. genuinely feel like there's a person on the other end. It's not like a kind of faux person, a bit of a sort of, you know, puppet that's kind of contorting itself to just to fit the YouTube audience. Yeah. You know, the first thing that I would have done, I think, if I was interested in what a typical YouTuber I think seems to be interested in was start covering other stocks and all kinds of broadening into finance stuff and, you know, try to be meet Kevin or Graham Stefan and just go for that really general audience. But in order to hit, hit a mainstream audience like that, you can't be talking about hanging out with Mary Jane. You know, you can't be dropping F-bombs in your videos constantly and offending people and pointing out that the President of the United States is corrupt and these, because, you know, you just can't do that. Sure. But I just am willing to say that I'm obviously, I know that this constrains the size of my audience, but I think the way that they feel toward me and the fact that they're sort of seeing my genuine self, there's a much stronger connection, I think, there than the average YouTube channel because of that radical honesty. Um, And there's plenty of people that don't watch a channel because they hate the F-bombs and they get really mad about it and they just refuse to watch it and they're lost, that's okay. But I've never been one to sort of try and please everybody. I mean, I'm the total opposite of a pleaser or Mm. a nice guy, uh, you know, in dating speak. Now, okay. I'm never really concerned about pleasing, just doing my own thing and take it or leave it. So it's yeah, good that yeah. people have seen the full me and they understand what they're in for. If they're sticking around, that's great. And if not, that's fine as well. Got it. Yeah. And that's, that's honestly like, that's what I really respect about you and, and what you, and that's why I wanted to talk to you so bad because I, I respect you. You know, I respect you as a person. I respect you as a creator. Um, mm-hmm. Of course, like there, there may be things that you say that I'm like, okay, I don't agree with that or, wow, that was like really like colorful language. Cool. You know, kind of thing. But like at the same time, I'm like, but I know he comes from an honest place. I know he comes, it's obvious that yeah. you're true. It's obvious that you're being true mm-hmm. to yourself. And I think, I think that's, it's inspiring, man. And like, watch-